paano na kami? <laughs> Saan tayo bubulutin? <laughs> Everyone, I'm Maan. I'm Roma. Yes. We're from Common Room. We're here in Katipunan, our first shop. Pack up day, July 27. We're actually supposed to celebrate our anniversary, pero we're here to close Katipunan. Pinapatalaw po nung ano, makilang doon tayo, Alice. Ini-evict na kami, guys. Ini-evict na kami. Wrap up na daw itong shoot. Oh my God. Literally, I'm going to tell you. Oh my God. It started here. And what's nice about it, yes, we may be closing, but siya rin yung nagtitigar sa amin to do something new. It's paving the way for a new adventure for Common Room. So, Yes, we're closing, but it's not the end. So, basically, reality check namin. Nagsarado lahat eh. Saan na kami pupulutin? Kasi yun talaga yung main source of income ng not just us, but the entire community. So, nung nag-lockdown, and wala sa amin yung control nung spaces. Like, kahit anong pagpaplano namin, walang perang papasok sa store, Walang kabuhayan na papasok for our makers. Yun talaga yung reality check eh. That we are so dependent on our spaces. Paano kung nawala siya? Katulad nung nangyayari, for the three months, nawala siya. Paano na kami? Saan <laughs> so, tayo pupulutin? <laughs> yeah, and we have... It's not just us eh. So, um, dami naming makers, dami naming staff. Lahat kami apektado. Shops closed, the malls closed, people weren't going out. We're retail. We're basically non-essential, de ba? Hindi ako yung pagkain, hindi ako yung medicine. So, yeah, it was a no hard pill to swallow. But yeah, we had to adjust. Eh. Wala kami ng choice. Eh. Yeah. So I guess yung sa katipunan kasi it's our first home. Eh. So he, it's not just a business decision. Meron kami ng kailangan ihurdle na emotional attachment to the space because it's our first home. Eh. This made other homes possible. This place. May this... Ayoko! Ayoko mag-explain! <laughs> Naiiyak ako. Anyway... Hindi. Actually, I don't think it's head over heart. I think it's heart pa din. Kasi, ano ba yung point niya? The point of the business is to sustain the community. And if this space will be the reason that we won't be able to sustain the community, then I guess it's still heart. Kasi it's for the community, right? For Initial discussions, mostly kaming dalawa talaga. Compared to my sister, medyo mas pragmatic ako. But, siya yung mas may visibility sa numbers eh. And we knew na, if this extended, hindi talaga namin masasustain all the shops. So, we, we really had to cut down one or two so that the rest will survive. It was a difficult discussion. Maraming ano, maraming mga tears na <laughs> nagshed. <laughs> yung concept ng pivot talagang mangyayari siya. Eh. The space is already not fulfilling what the community needs. Eh. We need to grow out of this space mm-hmm. so that we can continue yung mission ng space which mm-hmm. is to provide support to the community. So That's why we're moving out because it cannot hold us anymore <laughs> because we have so many things, so many plans in store for the community that the space can't contain anymore. So we're breaking free. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it, for us, it's not just about surviving the next two months or this pandemic. It's about really making it a bulletproof business na kahit magka-corona 2.0 next year or 3.0, whatever, down the road, hindi kami reliant on the space. Meron kaming sariling backup to the backup plan and this is it. At saka kung merong magpapasulit nung pinagdaanan namin hirap, I think it's learning from it. Yeah. Kasi ang hirap na we continue to be the same 
even if the context is already telling you that there's something missing in your business, in your model. Kaya we really need to break out of this space so that we can have more room to grow as a community, to make the community more crisis-proof. Kumbaga, isarado nyo na lahat! Andito pa rin kami! We didn't want to make this a sad move. We wanted it to be a hopeful hello to our new chapter. We started becoming hopeful sa mga pwede pa namin gawin. Kaya, actually, we're really excited. Pwede mo matapos yung video para makapag-back up na <laughs> Kasi we're moving into a new studio. So, -na -na! A new studio! <laughs> we actually found um, a house now we can rent and we can revamp it. We can flip it into our very own satellite workspace slash stockroom slash garden slash. Uh, it's a very exciting time because it's big. It's big enough to house actually more items from our partners. We can do a lot more in the space. We can take photos, take videos. We can take content. Yes. Because our partners will be vloggers in the yeah. future. <laughs> so, kahit maglose ang malls and all, we have something that can still work. For us. Yes, it's just walking distance from the house. So, kahit i lockdown yung kami sa village, guys, hindi nyo kami mo <laughs> pipigilan. Yeah. We're moving into a new studio that can carry more artists. The studio will cater to our web store stocks so that we can list more products. Yun nga, kulang namin before is online. Now we're trying to strengthen it by moving into a new studio that can fulfill the needs of that web store. On top of that, since it's a space, hindi na kami dyan sa labas guys magsushoot. Nakikita nyo kami dyan paminsan. Nagsushoot sa mga floor kasi wala kaming studio. Hindi na po kami ganun, guys. Meron na kaming mga photo walls, etc. Ganyan. Uh, I guess from, from our end, what we really wanted to do coming to this next phase is about redefining what space means for a common room. Na hindi lang kami limited sa physical, physical wall of a shop, but it's actually creating uh, a different type of home so that we can do more actually for our partners, for our supporters, and we can expand. So that's what's really exciting because you know, we want to redefine what having a space means for a common room. So. How do we redefine it? Common room is a space. It showcases the talents of local makers, right? You see their physical products and you see what they can do, the products that they can create. But their artists are more than the product they create. They have other services. Yun yung mga hindi namin na highlight before because we're limited to showcasing them through their physical products. But what if you see them actually sharing what they can do to you? Ay, tama ba yung pagkasabi ko? <laughs> what they can share with you? Ano yung iba nilang services? Because our artists are so talented, our makers are so talented, they can do more than just produce these items for you. So I guess, ito na yung time na sabi namin, um, click the subscribe button yes. over here. here. Or here. Or here. Or here. Or, here. or there's a link here. here. There. Or here. <laughs> we'll have a YouTube channel. It's going to be a platform, a space where we can showcase local artists, enabling them to share their stories to you. Actually, diba, with the physical products, you don't see how how quella they yeah. are in person. So with the YouTube content, guys, makikilala nyo na talaga kung sino si Sample. Kat Timson, or si Ella Lama, or si AJ Panginina. Oh, diba? <laughs> so before you only see their pro products, now you see their faces. You're going to be part of their a day in the life. You're going to see their craft loot. You're going to see their art process. And you can even see how they made a sustainable living from their art. Our space also has this effect to our shoppers that when they enter the space, they're inspired to try crafting, they're inspired to create and make, etc. That's why we think, how can we translate that into the digital space? That's why we opened Patreon, yeah. so that we can offer online classes and interviews 
and a day in the life of our featured makers for the month. Ngayon, hindi ka na lang indirectly may inspire through their products na you want to make your own stickers. Through the Patreon account, by subscribing to the membership mo monthly, you can actually learn how to do it with the help of the makers. And it's not just any art class. It's going to be the process of the makers and how they made it into a sustainable living for themselves. So, hindi siya magsa-stop sa, this is how I do it, this is my tips, this is my techniques, this is the materials that I use. They will go beyond that and tell you what we did to make it a craft, an art that is sustainable for us. So, again, check our Patreon account to know more of our details. The link is below, I think. Yeah. Correct? So, you're not just supporting actually one artist, but you're supporting the community of artists of Common Room. So, that's exciting. Yes. So, before, if you're used to just having workshops face-to-face, -face, since because of the limitations, we want to give people more access to it online. Sa sarili nilang oras, sarili nilang place. So, this is that. Um, chance or that platform. So we're really excited. I guess it's a why, diba? It's our why. Eh. So parang everything's uncertain na nga eh, diba? Parang what does the future hold? Sobrang uncertain siya. Parang yun na nga lang yung certain sa amin eh. That it's something, it's our why and we hope we could continue holding on to that why as long as we can. Sa lahat ng uncertainty na nangyayari, yun lang yung one certain thing that we have. It's our why, which is to create a space, a home, a safe place for our makers. And we hopefully we can share those stories with you, not through our stores now, but now through their stories and through the digital platforms, which makes it safer for you to actually communicate and reach them. Because we don't have to be together physically to connect, right? Even if we're far away from each other. Hug. Hug. I'm hugging you right now. <laughs> Aray! Wow! Ako Wow! <laughs> Most of the time, people will ask us kung tutuloy pa ba natin or paano natin siya ginagawa. But I guess, as small businesses, as the founders nung mga, nung businesses natin, di ba? Tayo yung gumawa eh. Like, we built it using our hands. So, even if, I think, umabot kayo sa point na iisipin nyo kung kailangan nyo mag-close or kung ano yung best next step nyo, Parang kailangan yung balikan na hawak nyo yung future nyo. It's within your hands. Kayo yung gumawa ng products, kayo yung gumawa ng business, and kayo rin yung magsusustain nito. Yes, it will be harder. You will have limitations for now, but you can still build. You can still start over. It's in your hands kasi ginawa nyo na siya. Our dear makers, Ang sobrang dali tignan lahat ng nawala, di ba? Like, ang dami eh. Hindi mo mabibilang lahat ng nawala sa atin. To help you move forward, to help you still be productive and inspired during these times, is you also have to remember what you still have. You're not starting from scratch eh. You're in the middle eh. Tapos tinanggal lang lahat ng potential mo pang magawa. But you're not starting from zero. Alam niyo bang ang dami daming who's going to just start now because they were laid off from work, etc. So they're basically starting to have their own brands and businesses, hopefully to help them move forward. Kayo guys, nandun na kayo eh. Kailangan lang ano pa ba pwede nating gawin. So you're not starting from zero, makers. You still have something. Kung paano mo siya ginawa noon, pwede mo pa rin siyang gawin ngayon. Ang mahalaga na you built your business, ang upside nun is you know how you did it before. You can still do those today and you can still do those things better. If you focus on that, on the fact that you already have a community, you already have followers, you have Instagram accounts, ang dami mong meron pa. Kumbaga, hindi totally nawala lahat sa'yo. 
So I guess that's one way for you to still be hopeful for the future because you are you still have so many things going for you and for your business. Your your anxieties, yung mga kinakatakutan nyo, those things are actually valid. I think everyone naman is going through like their own version of uncertainty. We're not shielded from that. Actually, and dami na moments na umiyak din kami, hindi namin alam kasama eh. Ano yung mangyayari sa shop? But, it's uncomfortable and it's scary, pero we're all in this together. <laughs> hindi lang kayo yun, kami rin, we're experiencing that. But, I think one of the things na natutunan namin out of this pandemic is, tuloy pa rin yung buhay. Meron at meron ka paring pwedeng gawin. There's always something to look forward to, to, to aspire for. And, you know, there are still new dreams for you to chase. If you go back, makers, to your past challenges, when you were starting the business, right, you were dreaming of something new for yourself. And it was really hard. Kasi bago siya lahat eh, hindi siya comfortable eh. It's not something you're used to doing. And I'm sure when you hurdled that first step, and dami pa along the way na crossroads na kailangan nyo ulit, what am I going to do now? What am I going to do next? So again, you're forced to grow and again, dream new dreams for your business just to hurdle that fork in the road, that crossroad for you. So I guess this time that's happening right now is another chance for you to dream new dreams. I mean, hindi tayo limited guys dun sa una nating why, dun sa una nating purpose. We're so much more than those dreams. We can always dream new dreams with our imagination, our creativity, and give yourself permission to actually dream those new dreams. I guess paminsan kasi ang nagsa-stop sa'yo is yourself. You think na, ito na yun. Ito na yun. Kinuha na niya lahat. Wala na eh. Wala nang bumibili, ganyan. Well, hindi ako inspired, ganyan. It starts with giving yourself permission na despite all the uncertainties na nangyayari ngayon, pwede ka pa rin mag-isip ng bago for yourself. I guess, yun. Dream new dreams. Like, what we're doing now. We're dreaming new dreams for the community. So, yun, guys. We may be closing the shop, but we're here. We're here to stay. We're here with you. That's, I guess, yun yung maganda about being in a community na walang iwanan. We're still here. Kahit wala kami sa shop, you can find us somewhere else. You can connect with us. We want to connect with you. So I guess it's not a sad goodbye, guys. It's a happy hello to a new chapter in our lives. Kasi, like we said, we're dreaming new dreams for the community. So guys, na imagine mo bang sasabihin namin to? <laughs> like and subscribe our channel. And the links are below or here. over here or <laughs> over there. Here. Diba? It's very uncomfortable for us. <laughs> I'm sure alam nyo na 1,000 takes po ang nangyari bago magawa tong video na to because we're trying to dream new dreams and we hope that by doing this for our community, the community will also have the courage to dream these new dreams with us. Dahil sinabi ko, oh, magbablog ka ha? May day in the life. Ang sabi, ayaw. <laughs> nahihiya daw sila. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> nahihiya din kami. Ito kami. No choice, we're here. Guys. So yun, ang haba. Ang dami. <laughs> ang haba na nun ah. Yeah. So, summary. Birthday namin. Fifth anniversary ng Katipunan. So, we're saying goodbye to Katipunan on its birthday because ang pinaka-gift namin sa kanya is for the community to continue growing and thriving. That's why we're moving to a new studio. What are we going to do with the new studio? Marami! <laughs> it's going to be our home para we can create more content for our YouTube platform and then we can shoot more videos with our makers for workshops which we will house in our Patreon account. Inventory stockroom for our website. 
So, so we'll have more products, not more just limited products. to our Katipunan stores. Now we can cater nationwide, guys, worldwide. and soon Global. worldwide <laughs> global domination. So, may mas summary pa pala doon. Mahaba yun eh. Oh, ano yung pinaka summary? Let's go. Like and subscribe, guys. We may be closing shop, but we're here on YouTube. Find us here. We may not be in our stores, but our stores are still open. Rockwell, ATC, yes, but we're also here on YouTube and on Patreon and on our web shop. Like, 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 like. You can find us. We're everywhere now. Because we're online. Bye guys! See you online! Bye!